Well, as China relaxes lockdown restrictions in Hubei province and Wuhan city, where the coronavirus pandemic is believed to have started, and Germany's health minister declares his country's outbreak as now manageable, people are lining up to blame the pandemic on China. Germany's largest tabloid newspaper, Bild, has rather helpfully drawn up an itemised invoice. On it, you'll see a 27 billion euro charge for lost tourism revenue between March and April, up to 7.2 billion for the German film industry, a million euros an hour for German airline Lufthansa, and 50 billion for German small businesses. That makes a grand total of 149 billion euros, give or take. Build reckons that's around uh, that's about 1,784 euros per person if Germany's GDP falls by 4.2 percent. Uh, the invoice appeared in the paper on Wednesday under the title of "What China Owes Us." Well, the Chinese embassy uh, replied the same day, saying, amongst other things, uh, anyone who makes a calculation as you do in Build newspapers stirs up nationalism, prejudice, xenophobia and hostility to China. For a crisis of this magnitude, there is no script. Well, the correspondence continued today with a rebuttal uh, addressed to President Xi Jinping uh, from the paper's editor-in-chief, uh, Julian Reichert. And I'm pleased to say that Julian Reichert uh, joins us now. Welcome to DW. Uh, what were you trying to achieve with that first article? Well, we were trying to point out that, of course, there is something like responsibility for a global health incident, a global health catastrophe like this, if authorities like they did in China fail to inform the rest of the world about the magnitude of this, uh, this outbreak. And that is clearly what happened, and that has caused severe effects to countries all over the world. And that's why we uh, drew up the bill and told um, uh, told uh, basically the Chinese government that there uh, is a bill to pay and this should be discussed as many people have discussed now. Uh, U.S. Uh, Secretary of State Pompeo has gone into that. The German uh, Foreign Minister Heiko Maas uh, has touched on that today. So we think we're uh, onto something there. And do you, you believe that this, this bill or something like it, you believe that, that, that China will actually uh, pay? Uh, no, of course, they will never pay for it, as they have never paid for anything, uh, for example, patents that they have stolen from other countries. China or the Chinese regime likes to take whatever they wish and not pay the bill for it. But that doesn't mean that uh, the free media, what they don't have in their own country and don't allow people to consume in their own country, shouldn't uh, uh, write about that and hold them accountable. Yeah, your, 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 your approach the, or your, your, and the sentiments seem very... How would you put it, Trumpian, in the, the way that, uh, that President Trump has, has tended to blame the, the Chinese for this? And also, um, when it comes to NATO, he, he was also reported to have uh, presented Angela Merkel uh, with a bill. Is that, is that a comparison you welcome? I don't consider that Trumpian. I just consider it very reasonable. And if President Trump uh, decides to go into the same direction, I still consider it reasonable, although many people uh, may dislike uh, President Trump. You know, China has failed, uh, clearly failed to regulate, uh, for example, wet markets in their countries where viruses have, have come from for, for long times. They have failed to inform the rest of the world uh, through to the uh, you know processes we have, the WHO, for example, about what is coming at us. And of course, you know that that, that raises the question of responsibility and accountability. And uh, it's it's obvious that a, a regime like China tries to push that away. But again, you know they can do that in their country where they control the people, they control the media, they do not control the wet markets, but they control everything else. But you, you, they cannot do that in uh, Western countries with free media. They shouldn't be allowed to do that. And I think um, we will see that debate grow in the next weeks and months. And I think it will go well beyond Trump. And I think countries in Europe that are losing a lot of money, that are losing hundreds of thousands of, or millions of jobs, right. will raise the question, well, who is responsible for this? Let's talk, let's talk about a couple of those allegations. And you, you say that this, that this uh, started from the, the wet markets in China. Where's your proof? Well, as of now, as we all know, everyone who is in journalism and reporting knows that China makes it awfully hard to do research on the ground, to gather proof.
prove and uh, prove ourselves as journalists because journalism is controlled as everything is in China. But what we see and what China has raised itself is that there is a strong connection between this virus and um, the, the wild animal or wet markets in, in China. They have closed down these markets during the outbreak without making any comment on that. So I would say, it, you know, it's, it's awfully hard to prove something in China. China makes sure um, that it's hard for the outside world to prove anything in China, okay. but it's way beyond plausible and way beyond reasonable doubt. So as, just to be clear, um, you say China's responsible for this. The scientific community uh, says the proof is there is no conclusive proof. You have none, but as far as you're concerned, the, the weight of evidence is against China, the circumstantial that, evidence. No, that is, no, that, that, no. Um, our point is that this virus, and there's no doubt about this, comes from one China. And, uh, you know, if it comes from a wet market or if it comes from a laboratory, if the, the, like the Washington Post has indicated, it does, we know it comes from one China, and we okay. know that China has not informed the world community uh, what is coming at us. So if it comes from that market or from any other source, the point here is not that it comes where in China it comes from, it's that it comes from China and that China just failed. And they not only failed, they chose not to ignore the rest of the world. They chose not to inform the rest of the world. Okay, and you said, I think that, that is let's something look, let's that... Let's look at that, 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 that uh, particular allegation, because you've you made it a couple of times. You say that uh, China uh, failed to inform the rest of, uh, of, of the world. I'm um, just looking through the, yes. the embassy, uh, the response from the Chinese embassy. Uh, they talk about uh, going back as far as December uh, the, uh, the 31st of last year. Uh, they, uh, they say that the WHO confirms the timeline that they lay out in their letter to you. So where in that is, is again, your proof that they hid this information? Uh, well, I think, you know, as journalists, you and I shouldn't be um, uh, trusting uh, what Ch the Chinese regime says too much. No, absolutely. What we, should, what we, should, what we, should, what we should not is do what we, is well, just we, trust what other yes. people do. But what we also it's, should not exactly. do is, 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 make, alleg is make allegations without proof. So, again... I think, I think first of all, you know, in an, inter in an interview, maybe you should just uh, let me to finish my sentence, because I was going that we have talked to, for example, numerous officials in German authorities, for example, the Robert Koch Institute, uh, that have uh, told us um, that China, Chinese officials in the health apparatus, they wouldn't answer their phones, as I wrote in my letter, they wouldn't uh, uh, reply to any emails asking about um, in fact, the, the infection chains. Um, when it was long clear to China that this was an infection that goes from one human being uh, to another. That, for example, and that is something that numerous uh, officials have told us, um, I would consider way more credible than you um, seem to uh, consider the Chinese authorities in their letters. In your letter to, to Xi Jinping, so it, there, was this, there was this bill in your, in your newspaper, the Chinese embassy uh, responded and then you uh, wrote back to the Chinese president, uh, Xi Jinping. Uh, so in your letter to him, uh, you say you want to strengthen China with a plague that originated in China. That's a direct quote. It's an English translation of, of, of your, your letter, which was in German. This is a sentiment that seems to echo the conspiracy theories doing the rounds on the internet. To be clear, are you accusing uh, the Chinese of starting the coronavirus pandemic deliberately? Um, they didn't. They didn't uh, start it deliberately. From everything we know right now, they just failed to stop and, and failed to inform the world. And I, I find, uh, to be honest, um, it, 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 it a bit um, it a bit disturbing that you call this a conspiracy theory when I say it started in China. They failed to inform the world, and now they are trying to capitalize uh, on it by, um, you know, uh, trumping up that uh, propaganda beat of China helping the world, while today, which is something I think you should be reporting on your program, they just had to correct the numbers of deaths in Wuhan, um, and they just made a mistake in their mathematics in calculating that. I, I don't really find that uh, that very credible, and I don't really see how you make a conspiracy theory out of that. And, and I, the truth is that China uh, started that deliberately. It does not say that anywhere in our uh, publication. I would never, I would never make that accusation. 
that is a conspiracy theory. Um, I made the exact accusations I made there, and they have nothing to do with the conspiracy theory. The, those are based on facts, and, and I think those, uh, those facts should be mentioned and debated and discussed around the world way more uh, clearly right. than they are right now. Good talking to you. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Julian Reichert, uh, Editor-in-Chief of BILT. Good night.